Hello, prayer warriors. I've been praying in the Holy Spirit today, and that warrior spirit has come upon me. I mean, I have felt intensity, boldness, anger in the spirit, and have released it. But I just felt like I wanted to get this onto a video, at least a short prayer, so that it can repetitively just go into the atmosphere and be played over and over again. I give forth this faith declaration, a prophetic proclamation by third heaven authority because the wording on this prayer came to me through three separate angelic visitations. So here it is. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over the evil spirits a false witness, hatred, and murder in the atmosphere. They are the dogs of hell sent from Jezebel on the left. They have been sent against those with the hand of the Lord on them, including the body of Christ, including President Donald Trump, and those who are loyal to him in his administration, including Justice Kavanaugh in his nomination hearings. In the name of Jesus, right now, angels... Break their spiritual teeth. Pull them down. Destroy the authority. I dislodge the assignment behind it in the name of Jesus. We destroy the strategies and the structure of the enemy. And we speak against the communication system. And we command for there to be confusion in the enemy's camp now. We look down and we stomp on those strategies and all of the strongholds of the enemy that's coming against God's will and purposes in these United States now. We ask for the strengthening hand of the Lord to come upon President Trump, to come upon the warriors. And while we're at it, we also now bind the spirits of self-righteousness, judgmentalism, and ungodly control. These are gallows of Pharisee on the right sent to betray and to coerce the body of Christ and President Trump and all those that are loyal to him and his administration. They are elitists with their own ungodly agenda that does not come in line with the destiny and the purposes of God in these United States. We pray, Lord God, that you now would bring revival to our nation, that you would show yourself strong, and we speak truth and justice into the atmosphere. I speak truth and justice into the atmosphere. I speak God's truth and God's justice into the atmosphere, that righteousness overcomes evil, and that wickedness is brought into the light and destroyed. Lord, have your way now. Fulfill the covenant in the United States of America that you established with those who founded this nation. And Lord God, I also pray that you would bring the greatest spiritual awakening and move of God that this nation has ever seen. We pray, Lord, that you would protect those with your hand on them, that you would strengthen them in body, that you, Lord God, would stop all of the attacks of the enemy. We thank you. We worship you. And Lord, I pray also. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done in the United States of America as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours, Lord God, is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. You are the ruler of righteousness. You are, Lord Jesus, the King of kings. You are victorious. And we are victorious in you. I pray that over the United States of America. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for every single one of you. 
Stand in faith. Stand in authority. You have the true spiritual power. Use it. Do not look at the circumstances. But stand on what you have prophetically prayed and the answer that God has given you. And watch it come to pass. Praise God. God bless.